Reporting on the crisis on Rikers Island, public defenders are now taking aim at judges and district attorneys who continue to send more people to the troubled jail complex. CBC's Andrea Klein Thomas explains what they say should be done instead. Public defenders and inmate advocates gathered outside of the Manhattan District Attorney's Office demanding an end to cash bail. We cannot send people to torture and death because they are poor. So According to city data, despite bail reform laws, judges continue to set bail in more cases and at higher rates than before the pandemic, forcing more people into dangerous conditions on Rikers Island. Most of the folks who are in there are supposed to have innocence until proven guilt and throwing them in there often makes them unable to attend their court date and puts them through a system that is permanently traumatizing. Last week, Manhattan prosecutors were told to stop requesting bail for certain nonviolent offenses if there's no recent history of violence and if the defendant has not failed to appear in court. In recent weeks, we raised the same concerns with other DAs. In my office, we only ask for bail on violent cases or repeat offenders. People that are accused of crimes are accused of some very serious offenses. I look at each case individually. The number of detainees being held here at Rikers Island charged with violent felony offenses has skyrocketed. Still, 1,500 have been here for more than a year just waiting for their trial. Calendar a thousand more appearances per week. Do it immediately so we can work off this backlog and move forward. Mayor de Blasio continues to criticize the court's slowdown. The courts say an unavoidable result of COVID protocols, while the criminal legal system is stalled. Whether you are presumption of innocence or you've been found guilty, no one deserves these conditions. That's right. The human toll of the crisis cannot be underestimated. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. City data shows when it comes to showing up for court, those who make bail and those out on supervised release show up around the same rate of 87%. Three of the nation's